to kick in to kick off on the discussion about 586 i'm curious like what are the problems that you were trying to solve with the creation of this course or what what um pain points were there out there in the industry that you know maybe you're eliminating now with the content you provide in the course I'm lucky enough to get to work with many different organizations of large and small sizes with, with security teams. And one thing I constantly hear is we know what we need to do, but we don't have the people or the staffing or the skills to do that work. And it's consistent across every organization I get to work with. And so what 586 does is really gives you the ability to automate away some of those normal repeatable tasks and really give an analyst or an engineer that some of that time back so that they can provide that value add work rather than repetitive work that we could otherwise automate. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I I mean, I hear over and over again is that about this the skills gap, the shortage of, of qualified security professionals. And from what I hear, it's not really getting any better. It's getting worse. There's, how would you view automation in terms of the skills gap? I'll, I'll ask you that. <laughs> Sure, sure. So first, I think the things that SANS and, and other organizations are doing to bring more skilled and qualified folks into the field are really important and are, are going to make a difference. I've worked with so many young, hungry professionals that I know are just going to become rock stars and, and crush it in this field. So I'm confident we'll get over that hump. But even when we do get over that hump, I still see a need for automation to maximize the efficiency of, of various teams. And one thing I like to do is just sit and watch a SOC analyst or a security engineer do their job. And what I often find is they have a browser open with like a hundred different tabs. They're pivoting between tools. They're doing awesome work. But what if we had a way to get that data from all of those different browser tabs, centralize it for them, do some automation in the analysis, and then give them some kind of cold data set that they can work with. And really, rather than having them poke around in different tools, focus on using the data that we've already aggregated for them. We already put together in a way that they can be efficient in that analysis. So that's where I really see the benefit. 